so today we're out here at Lake Lillian. I got the Guggenzinger put on there. Oh, it's dirty. White and chartreuse. The wind's been blowing a lot, so the clarity's down a little bit. With this kind of breeze, it's definitely spinnerbait conditions. The, the wind could be blowing a little bit harder and I would be satisfied, but we're gonna take what we can get. And I'm gonna show you how I like fishing with the spinnerbait. So normally I find something that's different. This is a pretty generic pond. Got a couple grass patches that I like to throw around. But this right here is some cover that something big can hide around. And that's what I'm fishing for. You don't fish with these big half ounce spinner baits for the little bass. We're out here looking for bigs. Get a steady retrieve. It's a 3 eighths of an ounce. I wanted to bring it along the bottom. That's only three to four foot of water over there, so I don't need that heavy half ounce to get down there too fast. And when I feel it start bumping, I know I'm right down where I need to be. Then I just let the action of that spinnerbait do the rest. It's a one willow, one Colorado. So I can get down there, but I got the bump of that Colorado blade that makes that sound to let them know, hey, I'm here. Come eat me. But that is the retrieve and how I like to fish that spinnerbait. Don't be afraid to throw this the same place twice. Just because it didn't bite that first time don't mean that you might not have agitated the fish or maybe it came by too fast. That fish thought too long about it and it was gone. But you can bring it back by there again and just get it that right motion, that right time where you can get that reaction bite. And you don't want to have the same retrieve all the time. You want to mix it up. You might be doing a, a slow retrieve and they're biting a medium. They might want that, that fast and then drop down to a slow. You never really know until you find that pattern. And it just might not be a spinnerbait day. You never know. But if that happens, I also have a lipless crankbait on there. The only thing about out here fishing today is one guy just left that was fishing. So you got one, one that left, two, three, four or five and I make six people that's fishing this one small pond right now and with the coronavirus stuff going on it's been really pressured you definitely want to have more of a finesse style of fishing in here right now but I was in here yesterday it was overcast and the wind was blowing kind of heavy so the odds was in my favor but I caught a three pounder, a two pounder, and a catfish on the same spinner bait, fishing the same spots. So you never know. They're also catching little bass, and I'm catching bigger ones. So, but that's how I like to fish it. 